Well, despite the constant change in this city and gentrification in East Austin, there is a Tex-Mex restaurant that is enduring and thriving. Juan and Emilian's good food and kind people have made it really an icon of old Austin. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with Austin Business Journal reporter Mike Christian about what keeps it going 43 years after it opened. The story of one in a million starts with a couple. They were working in a restaurant, they were waiting tables, they were washing dishes, and they wanted more for themselves. So they worked at a, another restaurant here in town and um, Juan washed dishes, Mirna uh, waited tables, and they worked there for uh, a little while um, and kind of started their journey into restaurant ownership there. And when you interviewed Juan, he said something that I found interesting, which was, had we leased this building, he says it would have never, never lasted. That's right. So in those early days when they were working at that other restaurant, the, uh, the owners of that, that space uh, up in Oak Hill uh, actually also owned this space here on East Cesar Chavez. Um, and sort of through that partnership and working there, uh, the family, the Martinez family, actually offered uh, the Mesas uh, the opportunity to buy this space. The, the cost of uh, rent has gone up so much. So uh, in short, they said that the, the business really would not have been able to flourish or stay here had they been leasing that entire time. And it's a, it's a family run business. How has it grown within the family and, and what's the future hold for it? As they started the restaurant, uh, they were starting their own family and, the, and their two children really grew up in the restaurant and spent a lot of time here. Um, as they were growing up. And now that uh, both of those children are adults, um, Christina is the name of their daughter and Juan is the name of their, their son, uh, Juan now manages the day-to-day the, the -day operations of the restaurant itself and Christina does the, the finances behind all of that. Mike Kristen with the Austin Business Journal. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much.